Hey yogis, I want to uh, share this uh, video with you. This is our outside uh, oasis in our home in St. Albert. And uh, I decided instead of being in a studio today, I would be out here and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, I might be competing a little bit with lawnmowers and uh, weed whackers, but I'm sure that we'll be able to uh, get through this together. So this is a vinyasa cardio flow for weight loss. And this will help us to just kind of rid some extra weight, especially in the summertime. Let's uh, look at rocking this out for about 20 minutes, okay? So let's come up to the top of our mats into Tadasan. Let the base of the toes come close. Let your heels be a little bit apart. Shoulders roll back. And I'm gonna give some alternatives for those of you who wanna go a little bit deeper. And for those of you who do not, then you can just stay in a bit of the more basic pose. Take an inhale, rise your arms up. Palms to touch, bend your knees a little bit. Soften belly to thighs, head reaching towards the floor. Inhale, lengthen, maybe hands on your shins or hands on the floor, and bring the palms to touch the ground as you step it back, upper push-up position. Just warming up the body, shoulders over top of the wrists, heels kicking away, exhale, lower to the floor. As you slowly let your chest come down in between your hands, keep the shoulders away from the earth, point your toes away, lift up into full cobra, little cobra if you're already ready for upward dog, go ahead and do that. Lift the gaze slightly, shoulders away from your ears. Use your knees here as you bring your bum back towards your heels. Tuck your toes under and send your tail up towards the sky into your first downward dog. Just take a couple of moments. I've got a really long mat here, so I'm just gonna walk back a little bit here. Keep your hands pressing into the floor. Keep your feet grounded down. Pull your rib cage in and send your tail up towards the sky. As you gaze forward, just take a gentle step, right foot to the top of the mat. Take your knee down towards the floor, point away your back toes. Inhale, those arms rise up tall. Core pulls in nice and tight. As you exhale, bring the hands all the way down, tuck your toes under. Lift your back kneecap, rise those arms up. Awesome, take an exhale. Lower yourself all the way down, step it back. Upper push-up position, send your tail to downward dog. Pressing firmly through the heels, letting your hands press down, even the fingertips are activated. Sit bones rising up, look forward, step it up left foot. Take the back knee down to the earth and point away your back toes. Inhale, rise your arms up. Exhale. Tuck your back toes under, lift the back kneecap, send those arms up tall. Bring the hands down towards the floor. When you're ready, step it back. Upper push-up. Here we go, a flow. Send yourself down to the floor or chaturanga. Point your toes away and rise your heart high. And bring yourself all the way into downward dog. I'm just gonna check in with how you feel here. If you're dumping out through your shoulders, there might be some pain there. So lift up a little bit. Better to be stronger and a little less deep in these poses than to be so deep in the shoulders hurt. So let's take the right leg up into three-legged dog. Step it forward, right foot to the top of the mat. Once again, back knee comes down. Point your toes away. Shoulders roll back. Reach those arms up towards the sky. Bring the hands all the way down towards the floor. Walk yourself back just enough that you can start to curl back your toes towards your face. Lengthen your heart long. Don't worry about going down. Think about lifting up so that your right sit bones back, left hip bone forward, and the heart is reaching towards the top of your mat. Good, see if it's possible to squeeze those inner thighs in, open up your heart, and reach your arms open to the side. Good, inhale, shoulders roll back, arm hits lift. Send your left hand down to the floor. Take your right leg over towards the side and extend up the right hand. Just kind of check in with how that feels. Let's do arm circles here. Arm comes down to the floor and back up again. And the hand comes down, and then back up again. Just working on some stretching, hand comes down, and reach it all the way up and over. This time, send your hand out long, roll your armpit up towards the ceiling, and look up tall. Maybe you open up your heart a little bit further, send your fingertips to the back of your mat. Nice, sweep your body around, hands go underneath your shoulders. Take your right leg, keep it lifted, now we're in a tabletop with the right extended leg. Good. Take an inhale, head go and leg goes long. Exhale, knee goes towards the elbow. Good. Inhale, send it out long. Exhale, knee to the opposite elbow. Inhale, send it out. Exhale, to the elbow. Inhale, go long. And exhale. 
to the elbow. Keep your right leg lifted. Walk your hands a couple of inches forward. Tuck your back toes under. Away we go. Let's downward dog. Lifting up that tail nice and high. Gaze it forward. Step it up right foot all the way to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms are up. Exhale, hands come down. Let's work it through a flow, maybe to Chaturanga or the floor. Upward dog, Cobra. Legs are nice and straight in your upward dog and heels press back into your downward dog. Just finding some space here. Maybe you need to readjust and wiggle out your hips. Maybe you need to shake out your wrists a little bit, whatever you need to do here. Good, let's take the left leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog, hold here. Core pulls in, gaze forward. Step it up, left foot all the way to the top of the mat. Take your back knee down to the floor, back toes point away, knee over ankle, that's the alignment there. Pull your belly in and lift the arms up over top of the shoulders. Exhale when you're ready, fingertips come down, you can stay here otherwise. Hands come back and curl your toes towards your shin. So you want to activate right from that ankle joint and lift your heart out. It's not the chin that's going out, it is chin tucked down and feel the heart lifting with the head in line with the chest. Let's feel that stretch all through the hamstring there. Good, so inner thighs squeeze in, here we go. Arms open up, hands go out right and left. This is using your right quad here. Good, hand goes down to the side. Take your left hand, reach it up, and the left leg goes out to the side. Beautiful, so this is like a modified um, side plank here, yeah? So the hand reaches up, here we go. Hand goes down once, reach it up, and let's go twice, and lift it up. One more time, let's go twi three times, <laughs> and reach it all the way towards the right side. Maybe you open up your armpit, maybe you lift your heart a little bit higher, and your hips go forward, arm goes back. Nice, and then reach your hands underneath your shoulders. Take your left leg and send it behind you. Tabletop left leg lifted. Inhale, go long. Exhale, elbow towards the knee. Let's send it out long. Let's take the knee towards the opposite elbow. Inhale out and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good, inhale, send it out, hold it there, core tucked in. Okay, so the hands gotta walk forward, tuck your back toes under. Away we go, here we are. Let's go to our downward dog with an extended leg. Heads in between those arms, gaze it forward, step it up. Left foot to the top of the mat. Squeeze in, inhale, up the arms go. Beautiful, keeping the balance, exhale, hands come down. Step it back, upper push up position, move through your flow. Maybe you take it part way, rise through your heart, press into your hands and your thighs and bring it back into your downward dog. Good, let's come down to the knees, point the toes away, and roll yourself forward. Let your forehead rest down into a child's pose. Roll yourself all the way back up, sitting onto the heels. Let's bring the knees up nice and wide, opening up your shoulders. Inhale, arms out, interlock behind you. Press the fist to the back of the mat. Send your hands down behind you, if possible, touching the floor. It might not work, right? So roll back, lift up your heart. Take an exhale, pull the belly in. Forehead maybe touches floor, arms reach up. Roll yourself back. Hands touch down, heart lifts up. Exhale, come on down. One more time, roll yourself all the way up. Open up your heart, hold here for one more breath. Good, come back up to neutral, arms rise up. Palms to touch, in towards the heart center. Take your left hand to the center of your legs. Take the right hand, you can use fingertips or palm as you lift up, exhale. Stay on the tops of your feet. If possible, come on up. Good, lower that down. Lovely, switch sides, exhale. Good, come on down, one more either side. You guys got it, here we go. Let's lift up and bring it down. One more time towards the left side, exhale and then bring it all the way back down. Good, so keep on your fingertips as you crawl your hands forward, let your chest drop down, let your armpits stay lifted, tuck down your chin. Good, send your hands all the way up to the top of the mat, come forward a little bit, tuck your toes under, upper push-up position, send your tail back into downward dog. Good, so take the right leg up to the sky, gaze it forward, step it up, right foot to the top of the mat, inhale, up your arms go. Exhale, take a twist, elbow to the outside of your right knee. Open up your heart just a little bit further. 
Good, bring it all the way back to center. Arms rise up towards the sky, fingertips touch the floor. Take your left hand over towards the left side of your mat. Take your left thigh and send it behind into a modified side plank, lifting up your right hand. Good, so you can also lower down your bottom knee if this is too aggressive, right? Let's hold it out here just for that moment. Beautiful, take your top hand onto your hip. Send your bottom leg, this is a little tricky, walk forward your front foot. Send your left ankle on top of your knee. So we're gonna pull through the belly, tank the ankle on top of the knee, crab walk your hands back, hands under shoulders, lift up into a reverse tabletop with a figure four leg. Good, bring your bum all the way down. You can hold here for a little bit of a stretch in your left glute. If you wanna go further, it's toe stand. So your hands walk forward, come on your fingertips if you need to. All the way forward we go. Keep the body really engaged here, shoulders are rolled back. And maybe it's possible for you to lift one hand up. Maybe it's possible for you to lift both hands up. Not the easiest pose to do, but we find our balance somewhere, right? Fingertips come all the way down, slide your leg all the way over. If that doesn't work, keep your leg all the way out in front. All right, so the foot goes down. Inhale, let's take the right arm up, elbow goes to the outside of your knee. You can hold here, otherwise palms to touch into the heart and open up into a twist. So we're all facing the left side. Yeah, just kind of checking out with what's going on in the core, rolling one shoulder back, and then maybe you want to move to side crow here. So walk your hands out a little bit, take your back elbow into your back hip, that's the best way I find. Lean, 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 and maybe you can get those feet lifted. If you're advanced enough or you want to play a little bit, you can take your knees side by side. You can maybe lift that leg up a little bit. Either way, knees come together, and then lower your feet back down and if you have your legs crossed over just uncross them and send yourself to forward bend allow your head to come down beautiful feel a little bug on my back biting me as the head comes down shoulders curl away from the ears inhale lengthen half forward fold exhale palms to touch down step it jump it back upper push-up or chaturanga your option and then inhale upward dog cobra and bring it back to downward dog All right, let's take the left leg up towards the sky. Here we go. Gaze it forward, step it up, left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, up your arms go. Hands touch into the heart center and take your right elbow to the outside of the knee. Now when we're twisting, we don't want to drop all of our weight forward. We want to keep the belly lifted and open up towards the left. One shoulder stacking. Maybe shift your gaze a little bit. Good, bring yourself all the way back to center. You can lower your hands down, or as we take an inhale, rise your arms up, and you can send your right hand to the floor and take your left hand or left or right foot all the way over towards the side. Rights and lefts getting mixed up here. So crawl your foot forward a little bit. Open up your heart a little bit more. Once again, lower down your bottom knee if you need to, no big deal, right? But here we are, extension. Feel like the fingertips rising up, the heel kicking away and take your ankle on top of your knee. So pull your belly in, lift that ankle on top, crab walk yourself towards the back, hands underneath shoulders, and lift up. Take the bum all the way down. You can hold it out here and stay in the stretch. It's awesome. You get a really good stretch in through your right hip, otherwise toe stand. So you can walk your foot in, up on your fingertips we go, and come onto your toe. Hold here, fingertips can be down, otherwise here we are. Core tucks in, shoulders over top of the hips, and maybe your hands can come up into prayer. Good, take some time, fingertips down, take your legs, cross them over, toe touches down, or whole foot, totally up to you, or out in front, right? Okay, so inhale, up the left arm goes, elbow goes to the outside of the knee, hold it here. There's nothing saying we have to go further, right? Otherwise, test your balance, palms to touch, and open up a little bit more.
Nice, if you wanna go further to your side crow pose, hands come down to the earth, back elbow touches in, and we lean, 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 and maybe we can lift those feet up. Maybe we can uncross them and take your top leg up towards the sky. Good, either way, bring those knees back in. Let your feet come all the way back down onto your mat. Walk yourself back. Get uncrossed if you need to. Heels come down and exhale, just ragdoll. Feel like your body's going really long over top of your thighs. Let's take a roll all the way up to standing. Good, heart is lifted, shoulders back. Inhale, rise it tall. Palms to touch in towards your heart center. Good, take your right knee in towards your chest. Just kind of squeezing it in just a little bit further. Very nice, bring your hands back to prayer and keep your knee bent as you open it up towards the side. Maybe it's possible to hinge a little bit, almost like an Ardha Chandrasana as we let the chest go towards the right side and maybe your left hand comes down towards the floor. Keep the knee bent if possible. Right hand onto your hip. Keep your heel kicking in towards your bum, knee is lifted. All right, extend the leg out. So use the outer hip here. Yes, bring it all the way back in. Inhale, extend. Good, exhale. This is not easy. <laughs> One more time. You can use a block, of course. Keep it extended. This time, see if you can hover your hand above the ground. Bring your hands back into prayer. Send your right leg to the side. Keep it lifted, lifted, lifted. Doesn't matter how high. Around we go. Leg comes all the way out in front of you and send the leg to the back of the mat. Good, inhale, up your arms go. Send the hands down towards the floor and let's step it back, upper push up. Here we go through the flow again. Maybe it's chaturanga, upward dog cobra, and bring it back into downward dog. Good, you can gaze forward, you can step it, or you can take that jump up to the top of the mat, whatever's the best for you. Lengthen it up, half forward fold, and exhale forward fold. Come all the way up to standing. Good, hands come in towards the heart center and widen out your feet. Squat it down into Malasana Garland Pose. Maybe you're here today, maybe you're all the way down. Get those armpits down low, squeeze the knees to the outsides of the arms and lift your heart high. It's great for digestion. We wanna work through the organs as well as the stomach, getting rid of the toxins. Helps with weight loss for sure. Fingertips ground in, palms pressing together. Let's work on our crow pose. So just crow rocks maybe to start. So come up onto your toes. Knees go to the, either the outsides or the backs of the arms and lean forward. Maybe today you just lift up your feet and come back. Let's go again, lift up and come back. Just do one at a time maybe as well. This time, if you're comfortable, come forward and hold. You can either take that jump or step it back to Chaturanga. So we send our body long, open up, and go back into Downward Dog. Good, gaze it forward, step it or jump it up to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, forward fold. Come up to standing. All the way up we go, palms touch. Hands down to the heart. Here we go. Left knee comes into the chest. Good. Send the hands in towards the heart center and start to wrap that knee around towards the side first. Hold there. Maybe this is it and you can just extend from here. Otherwise, go all the way around pivoting on your right hip. Good. So keep your heel tucking in towards your sit bone. Let your right hand go down towards the floor. Maybe your hand just stays on your hip to start. Here we go, kick that leg out once and bring the heel towards the hip. Let's go again, kick it out. You're gonna feel your hamstring, that's the back of the leg, and bring it back in. One more time, kick it out and hold. Open up your heart a little bit further. Maybe you wanna extend that hand or hold here. Then hover, hover, hover with that bottom hand. Palms touching into the heart, swivel around the leg so it extends out in front of you. Good, send it all the way to the back of the mat. As you inhale, up your arms go. 
and send your hands down to the floor and step it back. Upper push-up position. Come down to the knees, point the toes away, and settle back into child's pose. Good, let's roll ourselves. Coming all the way back up again. Let's take the right foot and ground it down to the floor. Take the arm and bring it all the way around. Interlock the hands and exhale. Bring your forehead to the floor. Maybe you're up high today. Maybe your arm is not wrapping. It doesn't matter. Good. Inhale, take that gaze forward and then lift up a little bit as you send your right leg forward. Yeah, and let's slowly just lengthen out your body. Let your chin tuck down, let the top of your head move towards your foot. Good, gently lift yourself all the way back up again, send your heel back in. So once again, foot in line with knee, a little twist, left hand goes up, open it up. Bring it all the way back to center. Just tuck in your right foot. And if this is too much in terms of sitting on your knees, you can do an alternate variation where you have your ankle out in front of you as well, right? Okay. Always modify. If it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Take your left hand forward, wrap it around. Maybe today you're not wrapping, maybe you are. Inhale, lengthen it up, and exhale, come forward. Inhale, but slowly start to lift ourselves back up. Take your left thigh, extend it forward. Sitting up tall, stick your sit bones back, but engage your core as you walk forward, chin tucks in. Good, walk your hands all the way back. Take your foot back in again. You can change up the position as you inhale up, your right hand goes, elbow to the outside of that knee, and take a twist. Mm, bring yourself all the way back. You can finish off with maybe a Child's pose, if that feels good for you. Maybe you want to lay onto your back and do a happy baby's pose. Maybe you want to end, and of course, with our ultimate pose, Shavasana. Take about five minutes there and enjoy the process of detoxifying, letting go. And over time, your body, the more you move, will definitely help you to diminish some weight if that is your optimal goal. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope to see you soon. Namaste.